Some people might not know what triggers are. So slides or content. We looked at that weather, funding days. Tell us, you know, what triggers are in your words and like why they're important. So triggers are basically what 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 is going to trigger off an audio and visual visual you know uh, reward essentially for that rep. So once that action takes place, once that metric is incremented, it'll automatically change the slide. It'll put in a the next slide as being a little bomb, which is nice for them to see coming up. And then it'll play whatever their anthem is that they picked. So it'll play a YouTube clip clip of whatever they selected. And some of the guys have gone as far as uploading their own YouTube clips just to have as an anthem. But yeah. In those cases, I mean, it's you can see here the, the the difference between the AE summary and the RDE summary is that there's obviously double the amount of triggers for an RDE, and why that is is because as we talked about before, AEs uh, they have uh, they have triggers for whenever something is funded, so when that deal is closed, but an RDE actually has two, and RDEs their funding essentially is the the package LU when they pass that deal over, but they also uh, they also do like to see when a deal funds that they were the RDE for, just they, they they saw how that deal went over and we want to congratulate them for that as well. So we have those RDE funding funding metrics are actually in there as a separate metric that aren't looking at the D, the opportunity owner, but instead the RDE field, which was populated when the deal was pushed over from RDE to AE. That's cool. Do you mind um, click one of your TVs? There's a little Easter egg hiding here. We can show folks that are watching this like what what that looks like it'll it'll show one of our custom ones so any tv you want to pick we could just show one so basically you say hey we care about how many phone calls you make when you make 50 we want to celebrate that or when you fund a deal we want to celebrate that so you can double click that that clock there it'll issue that bomb and you can click it it'll probably be our custom uh demo user susan so here's an example of a trigger it may play audio on your side i don't know if it'll play for everybody but there's that YouTube video. So it's pretty awesome that your refs are making their own YouTube videos and uploading them as their, their triggers. We've got a lot of cool stories of people doing funny things like that, as well as like theming days, like big hit Mondays or like disco Tuesdays. So people have a lot of fun with triggers, but wanted to make sure people knew exactly what you meant by that. Um, so thanks for, thanks for showing that. No problem. And then one of the things that we had done with these triggers, uh, we actually had it set up this way. I'm not sure how, how many other people have it set up. It's a little weird just because the way this name is in a different sort. But we wanted to not only capture when a deal, in this case, a deal was moved from one wrap to another, but how many they did this week. So that's how these triggers are all set up, is to, to actually see how many uh, packages were sent over. So the first time this metric gets in incremented, it'll actually say, all right, well, if this is the first time, it's going to say this is the first, the first package LU they had this week. But the next one that they do, it's going to say, hey, this is the second. So we, we know that if, if, if it goes off and everyone's looking at the screen, we don't have to ask how many deals that they actually did this week. We know. By oh, that's cool. I don't think anybody's ever done it that way. So basically you're saying, is it greater than or equal to two or, or less than or equal to two? Is, or what are you doing there? Greater than one? I got you. It's greater, yeah. So it's greater than one, and just because of the way the triggers work, that it, it works that way. And then when you go into the third, let me pull up the third. Do, do, do. I think this should be, yeah, this should be greater than two. So if it's greater than two, it's going to sort of third. And it's basically once it gets triggered for that week, just because it's the time frame of the week, it's not going to get triggered again for that user. So you don't have to do greater or equal to, you know, it won't trigger again, even though the fourth. Let's say they, they, they do four deals and they do another deal, which is going to be the fifth deal. It's not going to trigger the first, second, third, and fourth because they've already been triggered for that week. Because they've been triggered, it's not going to re-trigger. So because of that logic, it allows us to just use this simple logic setup so that it, we can just have it you know, go off and then show you know, how many they're up to for that week. That's pretty cool, and I like the way your brain works. I'll show you something, though. We'll learn something here. Keep going down. You should be able to do metric type equals, um, I think it's account, so record, and you can say, like, um, so you can actually build in a custom, like, you can actually make a, met a new metric here. So you can say uh, this, like, um, whatever it is, 
app fund and you can build a metric here unique to this trigger. So have you ever done that by chance? This is something I else. Not, you, no, this you, is say, you, you could say equals four equals five. So what you're doing absolutely works, but you could actually build in kind of like we looked at metrics earlier with all your custom logic. You can make a, a record based one, or you could say if a deal was greater than a hundred thousand in funding, so you can be pretty explicit on, on some triggers too. So poke around with that. You might find that it, uh, you might create some new, new uh, triggers that you didn't have before. Yeah. And one of the next features that I saw that you had added recently or pretty recently was the ability to have one trigger on multiple TVs. So in our cases where we had, you know, for each type of uh, trigger, we had to make 12. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have to make 12, you know, 14 times. We can just make it once and then assign out those particular triggers to more than one TV. Yeah. In our case, like I had said that, because of the way that we have our TV set up in the different locale, the lo locales that we have, in some cases we want to have that same screen show, but we don't want to have the triggers because we don't want to have the noise going off for some things, but other things we do. So in that case, we kind of made, we 